It's the NFL on EA Sports. And we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Raiders and the Fins coming up next. The address is 347 Don Shula Drive in honor of the legendary coach. The stadium is Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens, Florida. So good to be with you, Mike Tirico and Greg Olson here. Greg, as we look at this matchup and looking around here in this crowd, they're so fired up for this one. What's it like when you come on the road and you've got a hostile environment you need to take care of? You know, I always liked it. I always thought it added to the element of bringing some energy and bringing some juice, especially in pregame. But once that ball's kicked off, you want to settle this crowd down as fast as you can, especially on offense. Take them out of it. Get them back on their chairs, sitting on their hands. The more energy you give them, the more noise, it does make it a little less efficient to operate, especially on offense. So come out fast, come out furious, and see if you can take this crowd out right from the jump. The veteran, Jason Sanders, ready to get a start. And off we go from South Clark. Nice job on the return. He's down close to the 35-yard line. The Raiders offense set to take over for the first time. They'll be let out by their quarterback, drafted back in 2019 out of Washington State. It's Gardner Minshew. Don't let this guy's laid-back personality fool you, Mike. He is a tremendous presence to have in your quarterback room. Not only does he have the ability to manage the game at a high level, but your team has a legitimate chance to beat anyone in the league whenever he's under center. Now, I don't know if I'd classify him as a long-term solution, but he's certainly someone every franchise they would love to have. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. Now, after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. Not something you want to see in the opening minute of the game. set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. In motion is Myers. Here's Minshew now on first and ten. That's caught. It's the tight end Brock Bowers. And they'll get him up four here as he is taken down. It's not the big play they were hoping for, but first down efficiency, staying ahead of the chains, is what every offense is trying to find, and it brings up a manageable second down. Here's second and six. On second down, here comes Madison. And he'll only manage to pick up three yards. And that leads to third down. goes in motion. He'll try and throw with Minshew. He'll look middle and he's got his man complete. And he's going to have the first down. So they convert on third down with a pickup of nine. goes in motion. Now give out of the gun. It's Madison. And no place to go, no place to hide. He's taken down behind the line. Anytime the running back is forced to chop his feet in the background and never get to top speed, you know that play's not going anywhere. That's exactly what the defense was able to force here by getting penetration. Great job there stopping this play before he had a chance to even get started. Again, it's Madison. And he'll get six on this one, moving it inside the 40-yard line. Six. 
seventh play of this opening drive. And here's third down. From the gun, here's Minshew. Oh, he gets that one complete to his tight end balance. And he will score. Brock Bowers. Touchdown, Raiders exactly the way they scripted this one a beautiful opening drive greg able to find the end zone on the game's first possession and mike the word that comes to mind looking at that drive is execution and that's exactly what they talked about all week long they wanted to come out early in this game and establish an early rhythm and that's exactly what they did with that touchdown drive daniel carlson on to attempt the extra point He knocks it through. And the Raiders will take a 7-0 lead. Carlson now, and he'll kick this one off following the touchdown on the other end. On the return, Malik Washington. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to stop. The Dolphins come out on offense, and the lefty, Tua Tagovailoa. He led the NFL a year ago in passing yardage. Hard to believe this is season five already from Alabama, Greg. Tua, 26 years old, and his time is now. I don't know about you, Mike, but my biggest takeaway from our meeting with him was just how important it is that they get off to a fast start. He made it very clear. They wanted to put their opponent on their heels right from the jump. So I think early in this game, they're going to come out swinging right from their opening whistle. The lefty right to the air to start. Off he goes. Slide down with the first down for the moment, but there is a penalty flag on the play. Make the handoff now to it. That's taken in by HN. And this play is going nowhere. Taken down behind the line. A great way for this defense to get on the field and get started. So you come back out here after watching the opposing team score first. And what you want to do is you got to establish a little early rhythm and get the drive started. Get a little positive energy into that huddle. And what hopefully starts out good ends with you being able to get some points of your own. And that'll go for a gain of about four. Robert Spillane spills him there. Third and long. A shotgun snap for two. He'll try and get there on the ground. Big gain on the ground here as he takes this up past the 40-yard line. You know this defense worked all week defending this quarterback as a scrambler, as a runner. But sometimes it's just hard to simulate until you see him in real life, his speed, his ability to create. We saw him get him here early on a big scramble. He's able to pick up the first down and keep the drive alive. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Hill brought in motion. Off play action, it's Tua. Sending it deep for Waller. They told us this week they were going to try to come out fast, and 
Tell you what, that's exactly what they did. Put immediate pressure on this secondary and let them know, hey, all game long today, you better defend every blade of grass because we're coming out firing. And even though that ball falls incomplete, it goes a long way in setting up the rest of this game plan as the game unfolds. On play action, it's Tunga Baloa. He runs with it. A game there of 20. Good for a Dolphins first down. You know, Mike, I like everything about this play except the very end. You've already picked up good yardage. You've already picked up the first down. Now get down on the ground and protect yourself. There's no reason to take those shots. Off the bootleg, here's Tua. That's for his new acquisition in 2024, Odell Beckham Jr. That pass play, good for 22. First down, Miami. Really nice throw there. The ability to throw the ball out on the perimeter. Yes, arm strength and all that. But it's also timing. The timing of the route. When is that wide receiver coming out of his break to deliver that ball accurately as his head comes around? If the ball's thrown too early, the receiver's not ready. If the ball's thrown too late, that's when disaster strikes. They show jet sweep and instead run it up the middle. He'll work his way ahead for a gain of about four. Here's a second and six. Hill brought in motion. A run with the fullback, Ingle. Trying to use that big body to get the yardage, but he is stopped for no game. Third and five. Throwing is Tua. A throw on the move is caught. And he's going to be taken down short of the marker. And that is going to set up an interesting fourth down decision. When you're willing to throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you know what that tells you, Mike? The decision to go for it on fourth down has already been made. If you're able to pick it up with yards after the catch, great. But if not, it's a fourth and short, and you give yourself a realistic shot of converting on this fourth down. They get the veteran, Teron Armstead. So on fourth down, the Dolphins turn to Jason Sanders for the field goal try. This, about as short as you can get. Sanders' kick is good. And the Dolphins are on the board. It's seven to three. It's always a little bit of a letdown, Mike. You find yourself deep in the red zone and you have to settle for a short field goal like that. In this case, he's able to put it through and they get three. So Sanders back out after making the field goal. He sends this one away. D.J. Turner now to bring it back. Oh, he's got room past the 30. And they'll be set up well as he is past the 35-yard line. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. The shotgun, a throw from Inshu. Open man. That's Trey Tucker. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. They'll come up now for second down and four. 
from the gun is a run with Madison. And let's give him about four on that one. Jalen Ramsey up to make the play. Don't need much. It is third and inches. Off the play fake. It's been shoot. He's trying to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not, and be taken down there. It's always easy to sit here after the result of the play, Mike, and second guess coulda, woulda, shoulda. But the offensive play caller, I can guarantee you, is thinking, all right, I might have made that a little bit too complicated. Just run that thing up the old briar patch, pick up a couple inches, and let's get a fresh set of downs. On fourth down, last year's all-pro punter A.J. Cole on now for the Raiders. Malik Washington deep for Miami. Set to go now on first and ten. In motion, it's Waddle. On first and ten, here's Tua. As caught aside by Waddle. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Look him up on a second down and eight. Out of the gun, Tungo Bailoa. That's caught by Smith on the right side. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. From the gun, here's Tua. And on third down, that ball incomplete. And barring an aggressive decision here on fourth down, it just seemed like a really wasted possession to go three and out, not able to pick up a single first down. Not only do you not able to gain any field position advantage, it really takes a lot of the wind out of your sails as you find yourself jogging off the field and the punt team coming on. And that is good coverage by the punt team as they meet him and bring him down. First and 10 now from the 36. They'll start on the ground and here's Madison. Nice job finding the seam. Gain of about nine. Just a yard short of that first down. Second and a yard. Now, whistles here. It looks like one of the defenders got a head start. First down, here's Minshew. That's a short one, caught by Bowers. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. Great timing and anticipation. The second the tight end's head turned around, the quarterback put the ball on him, and now it's, hey, let's see who wants to tackle this big guy and bring him to the ground. Working out of the gun, it's Minshew. That'll be taken in. It's Alexander Madison. 
And the roof is blown way down into the red zone inside the 20 yard line. One quarter in the books. It's the Raiders with the early lead. And we're back to South Florida after this. Ball down to the 16-yard line. And it's first and 10. They'll go here with Madison. They'll take this down to about the 15. Here's second and nine. On the ground, here's Samir White. And it'll be a pickup of three. So third down, forthcoming. Here's Minshew. That is caught by the tight end. Brock Bowers. Touchdown, Vegas. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. Greg, it's the quarterback's best friend, and you were that guy for a lot of years. The tight end in a tight area with man coverage. Yeah, and it's really twofold, Mike, right? First and foremost, we see so many of these tight ends around the league that now have gotten to the point where one on one matchups, that's advantage offense. But then, even in the cases they don't create great separation, Mike, it's their size, their catch radius. It's such a friendly target for the quarterback that when things get tight in the red zone, they look to the tight end. Here's Carlson now. He'll kick this one off following the touchdown on the other end. Washington now to return it. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. In motion comes Beckham. A play fit. Now two of the throw. And they're going to track him down. He couldn't find a receiver. And down he goes. This is where the playmaking ability almost can be a detriment to a running quarterback. They have such confidence in their ability to keep plays alive with their legs that sometimes they hold it just a little bit too long, thinking they can make the next big play, and good job by the defenders tracking them down and took them down for a loss. After the loss of three, it is second and 13. Here's Tunga Bailo. Looking middle there, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill there, and third down coming up. One of those plays where you like the idea, you just don't like the execution. I didn't feel the quarterback was overly comfortable in the pocket. Footwork, a little bit sloppy. All of a sudden, now the pass is a little less accurate and an opportunity for a big shot. You end up falling short. And he slides and covers up at the end, avoids the hit, and picked up decent yardage along the way. And that's a great job defensively here on third down. Not only taking away all the options down the field through the air, but when the quarterback decides to turn into a runner himself, they're able to converge and make the play and keep him short of the first down. Here's Jake Bailey now. 
as he's on to punt for the second straight drive. A fair catch signal, and they'll have it just outside their own 20. So first and 10 now, they'll start from the 22. The drive starts with a run by Madison. And this is going to be a Raiders first down as he's got this up to about the 34-yard line. Well, a really nice start here to the drive. Early down success. Every offensive coordinator is trying to find ways. How do we pick up first downs without having to get to third down? We see it here, big explosive run. Now the rest of the drive unfolds. They'll stick with Madison. Well, they weren't going to get him the second time with the same back. Defense all over that one. They stop him for no gain. Depending on the situation or the down and distance, Mike, the linebackers have different reads. Sometimes they read the offensive lineman. Sometimes they read the running back. In this case, his read brings him right to the play. He's able to make a big stop and keep the game to nothing. And off, it's Madison. And he'll pick his way forward, a gain of about five. And that's going to set up third down. Big chin out of the pistol here. He'll try to run for it. Whoa, ho, Good job breaking the pocket and going for 14 yards and most importantly a first down. And here's a great example of why the pass rush on third down that it's critical it gets home. In this case, they're not able to get to the quarterback. He has extra time to not only escape the pocket but to turn into a runner and pick up the first down. First and 10. the draw here's Madison and he's not going to get away they'll knock him back to his own territory they get him on the other side of midfield now there hasn't been a whole lot for this crowd to be excited about on either side of the ball but at least now the defense is trying to be that spark nice tackle for loss there can they do something to build upon to try to get this team going straight ahead here's Madison oh what a run down inside the 30-yard line. There's a combination of footwork and vision, his ability to kind of weave through traffic and understand where the holes were. It's a really nice job working through some bodies and picking up a big game. Fan in motion here is Tucker. Throwing on first and 10, it's Vinci. And he's got another one. What a half he is putting together. That's his third touchdown already. This is turning into a monster game. Let's keep an eye on this. Three touchdown catches alone in the first half. Could be a record-setting game. Carlson now for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Raiders move out to a 21-3 advantage. Here's Carlson now. He'll kick this one off following the touchdown on the other end. Here comes D. Eskridge on the return. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line.
on first down. Tungle by Lola. No one open. He'll drop it to his running back. And he'll be taken down up at the 40-yard line. It's been a rough first half, but now as we approach halftime, Mike, you got to start getting some wins. And it could be something small like we just saw here. Some positive plays, build a little confidence on that sideline. So as you go into halftime, you have something to build on. Hill brought in motion. The He'll fake the hand. Now, Chula. Looks to the outside. He's got Smith. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. This pitch and catch may have looked routine, but I promise you, Mike, these types of anticipatory throws, especially outside the numbers, they don't occur without countless reps, oftentimes when nobody's even watching. Here's first and ten. In motion comes Beckham. Tua going to give it to HN. And that'll be a pickup of three. They face second down and seven. Play action. Tango Valoa. Sending it deep for Waddle. You know, Mike, there's the saying in the NFL, take what the defense gives you. But that's not always the case. Sometimes you have to force a ball downfield. Show the defense you are willing to take big shots. Even though they weren't able to connect, it's going to have an impact the rest of the game. Throwing on third down. Tungo Baloa. The pressure gets there, and down he goes. A sack. Defense came out in a soft zone, and I think it caught the quarterback a little off guard. He was trying to attack them downfield. By the time he was able to get through his progression to his check down, he ran out of time, and that's all the pass rush needed to get into the backfield and bring him down. Here's the punter now, as they'll say no to the long field goal and hope to pin them deep. And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. This drive starts at the 21. It's first and 10. Turner goes in motion. They'll run here with Madison. And he's fighting to try to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not do it. This is going to be a loss of a yard. Well, they try to get the run game started here early on this drive, Mike, and they're just going to have to do a better job up front. There's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go. You never want to lose yards on first down, but that's exactly the case here. Back is Minch. Oh, they're front him in the flash, and he's lost the football. It's picked up by the Dolphins. How about the defense getting to the quarterback, getting access to the ball, knocking it free, and coming up with the recovery? I'd like to see the quarterback just be a little more secure with the ball, Mike. You can see he's just a little loose especially when you're operating from the pocket. But give credit to the defender. Nice job attacking the ball, knocking it loose and recovering it. And that is a big takeaway here by this defense. After that fumble recovery, a big opportunity here. First and goal. Here's HN, and he will dive into the end zone. Devon HN, touchdown Dolphins. That is a dream scenario. The offense handed the ball first and goal, and Greg, they take it to the end zone for six. They're not going to have many easier drives than that, Mike. I mean, to get the ball, not only in a short field, but in a goal-to-go situation, 
You don't get a lot of those chances. You have to cash them in, and that's exactly what they were able to do. After the touchdown, Myers is back to put this one away. Here comes Amir Abdullah on the return. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. They'll come up here first. And 10. Now Minshew. That one caught by Tucker. And he'll be taken down up at the 40-yard line. Do a nice job there to move the chains early in this drive. But now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. Man in motion here is Tucker. Mitch you now to throw on first and ten. He's going to take a shot down the field. That'll be batted away. Incomplete. Covered very strong defensively. It's second down. There's only a handful of guys in the league who legitimately have world-class speed and He's one of them. I mean, he's the type of weapon that you three or four times a game have to just say, okay, my guy, he's faster than your guy. We're going to send him deep and let it fly. And even though that one falls incomplete, you have to continue to sprinkle that threat in because it makes everything else in your passing game that much easier. Great job by the defense here, quickly realizing that this was going to be a draw. They're not caught off guard thinking that they're defending the pass. They're able to not only get in there for a stop, but they're able to take him down in the backfield for a loss. To the air on third down, it's Vinci. Here's a screen set up for Madison. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. Now the Dolphins are going to use the first of their timeouts. Here's A.J. Cole now. He's on for the second time. To try to get something inside the tent. And this one's going to land out of bounds as they'll mark it inside the 20. First down, here's Tungle by Lowe to throw. This is one of those throws where you're hoping you do most of the damage after the catch, but give credit to the defense. Once that ball was caught, they were on him quickly, and there was nowhere for him to go after the catch. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. A shotgun snap for two. And it's over the middle and caught by Smith. And they're whistling him down, but out the four picks up a first down after a gain of seven. This play is actually really well defended here. But I'll tell you, Mike, as you know, my philosophy is the tight end is always open, and this just supports my case. Now a first down throw for two. And this throw batted away and incomplete. 
He was trying to get it to Odell Beckham Jr. there. And it'll be second down. So as halftime looms, Mike, they have to find a way to capitalize on this drive right here and make sure they end the half with some sort of points. Now, that incompletion, not ideal, but at the very least, it stops the clock. Catch your breath, get back in the huddle, and this next play, it's got to be a gotta-have-it best play call. Jalen Waddell, the intended target, and it's going to bring up a third down. with eight chip. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. On comes the punter now. As he'll punch it away for the fourth time today. Fair catch here. Called for and made beyond the 30-yard line. The Raiders offense and their running back set to go once more. And he's been a big component of the passing game so far. You see the numbers here in the first half. This defense will need to find a way to key in on him because he's eating them up right now. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. Throwing is Minshew. Finding space at the 40. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Here's second and two. The shotgun, a throw for Minshew. We'll get this complete to his tight end balance. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. gun. Here's Minshew. They go right back to Bowers. He's got it again. And they'll get it up four here as he is taken down. Here's second and six. To the air once more is Minshew. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Really nice job with the protection up front. Just nobody could get open downfield. So it's a combination of your offensive weapons have to do a better job taking advantage of that time to work and separate. But also, how impressive is that by that defense to be able to cover for that amount of time? to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. So defensively, there's always the initial pass coverage plan. And then when that breaks down and the quarterback goes into scramble mode, how fast can you then move on to the second phase of what they call plaster, meaning find the nearest receiver and almost play a man-to-man. -man. And it's exactly what they did here. And there was nowhere for the ball to go. And he's forced to just throw it away. So we've reached halftime, and the visiting Raiders are out in front. As we head north to Orlando, we're going to join the coach, Jonathan Coachman. He's got our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Mike, thank you. More from you and Greg in a moment, but for now, welcome one and all to our EA Sports halftime report. The second half, straight ahead. Time to get back to it, and for the call, let's rejoin Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Coach, thank you. Back here on EA Sports as we count down to the kickoff of the second half. Both 
both teams ready to get back at it as we get back underway here on EA Sports. Here's Eskridge now to return it. Good return here. Brings it up to the 33-yard line. First and ten, here's Tua. That's taken in left side by Smith. It's a gain of ten. That's enough for a quick first down. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. And good work there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. The biggest issue and why they find themselves trailing in this game, Mike, has really just been the ups and downs of this passing game. And sometimes he's highly accurate and efficient, but at others, he just misses too many easy throws. Question is, are they going to be able to overcome this quarterback inconsistency and pull this game out? They'll run this one straight ahead with H. And he'll take this up to the 48-yard line. Robert Spillane spills him there. Here comes third and six. From the gun, here's Tua. He gets that to his tight end, Smith. And he will have the first down. The drive will continue after a pickup of eight. These curl routes. He's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football. And I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield and you stick that foot in the ground. Work back to the quarterback, friendly to the ball, and really nice job picking up the first down. Off the bootleg, here's Tua. That's taken in by HF. All right, so there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to excel. Number one, the traditional handoffs. Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection. And maybe bigger than all of them, you have to be at least serviceable out of the backfield in the passing game. Now, H. And a good tackle out wide will hold him to a gain of just three. Here's third and two. They'll try and run it here. It's HF. Give him 14 on that one. Good for a Dolphins first down. There's a big conversation going on right now around the NFL about what is the true value of having a run game. And I've always thought it comes down to being good at three situations. Can you run the ball in the fourth quarter with a lead? How well can you run the ball on the goal line? And then in this case, how well can you run the ball in short yardage situations? The speed on display. He's in. Come on, HN. His second touchdown of the afternoon. Greg, sometimes we say it too often. That was an important drive. That one really felt important for them to edge a little bit closer. Yeah, now the question is, Mike, yeah, the offense does their job, but can the defense get a stop? They've got to continue to get the ball back to their offense. Let them build on that previous drive because they've still got some work to do. Now... Here's the Dolphins and Tua going for two. He'll drop to throw. That's pulled in. And they're able to tack on the two-point conversion. I know it sounds like I'm being biased, Mike, but I'm really not. Down here this close to the end zone, especially on two-point tries, 
the size, the length, the athleticism, and matchups these tight ends can create. Man, they are a tough handle, and it leads to two points. After the touchdown, Myers is back to boot this one away. This is Turner. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Raiders offense and Gardner Minshew going to take over once again. And we show you some of the highlights, and there have been plenty to choose from. Three touchdown passes and some other big-time throws as well certainly dialed in and on top of his game right throughout this one. So they come to the line for first down and ten. On first down, a run with Madison. And he surges forward for a gain of about five. Again, it's Madison. And he'll get forward for a couple. Chop Robinson, the rookie out of Penn State, in there for the stop. Here's a third down and four. He'll try and throw with Minshew. And that is incomplete. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average. And frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out front. The Raiders send their punt team out. Oh, but he cannot get away. Great job down there to hold him to a short return. In motion, it's Waddle. Two and out on first down. And it's caught left side by Waddle. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. Second down and three. Here's a give to HM. He plunges forward for a couple of yards. Trayvon Merrick up to make the tackle. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. They'll try to run it here with Mostert. Dolphins first down as he gets this up to the 40-yard line. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this third and short, just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and they're able to convert. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. Hill brought in motion. Pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. The 
They'll come to the line now on second and two. On play action, it's Tungo Valoa. A toss, left side, caught by his running back. Defensive coordinators preach all the time, play pass defense with vision. It's exactly the case here. They're able to rally to the ball, keep that to a short game. Don't need much. It is third and inches. Contact up front. Did they get one of the defenders to jump? It's a three tight end look as they have it first and ten. A run up the middle with a chan. A gain of four as he's taken down. Here's a second and six. They'll stay on the ground with HN. And he's going to pick it up and take it down inside the 35 for the first down. It's Tua. He'll check this down to the running back. They'll come up here on second down and five. Here's Tunga by low. He'll swing this one out wide to his running back. And he'll be taken down. The game is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. Well, sometimes as a play caller, it's pretty easy. Get the ball into the hands of your best players. In this case, a wide receiver screen. Get it to him quick. Get some blockers out in front. Let him do the rest after the catch, and he picks up the first down. On first down, Tungo Maloa. Throw over the middle, and they can't connect. It's incomplete. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? He'll be brought down. It was a nice pickup for the penalty flag on the play. Early indications of a hole. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second in inches. Now a give to HN, heading right. This is one of those cases where having high-end speed in the backfield can be such a game-changer. The offensive linemen don't need to hold their blocks quite as long. You give this guy a little bit of a crease, and man, he is gone. Third and a yard. Tua gives it to Mostert. And they'll have it. He'll pick up the first down. Getting it to the 10-yard line as this drive continues, doing it on the ground. They'll motion the tight end, Smith. This one caught at the floor. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, sees some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. They'll 
run with eight chan. He will score again. Devon eight chan. Touchdown, Dolphins. That is his third touchdown of the afternoon. And make it a hat trick. That is his third rushing touchdown of the game. A big reason his team is on top. And so far, Mike, this run game has been the difference, and we're going to see in the second half. Now, can they protect this lead? Because, Mike, that's where a run game has its most value. And so far, this guy's been incredible. Now, Sanders on for the extra point. He's got it. And the Dolphins have taken a four-point advantage. For the touchdown, Myers is back to boot this one away. Abdullah now to return. And he'll be brought down right around the 25 yard line. here looks like one of the defenders got a head start little three tight ends here on first and ten hand off it's Madison there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. Great job by that linebacker timing his blitz. He didn't give any indication to the offense that he was coming. And he's able to get through that hole and take the ball carrier down for a loss. We'll try again here. Second and ten. They'll stick with Madison. And once again, they try the same run. They get the same result. Back-to-back -back carries of no game. Now it's third down. Some nose guards in the 3-4 defense, Mike, are just asked to take up space and eat up blockers. But not this guy. He defeats his blocker and makes the tackle. That's playing the nose guard at the next level. Turn with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The Raiders have their punt team out there. He forced a punt, 
trailing here in the fourth quarter. And not much doing there. They made sure he would not get free. Devon Achan ready to take the field with the rest of his Miami offensive teammates. And as we go through the highlights, no shortage of touchdowns today. Three trips to the end zone in this one. The combination, the power, the speed, everything on display. And the defense has seen it all. Here's first and ten. To throw is Chilla. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. He's usually such a reliable target in the passing game, Mike. We just don't see him struggle to come down with catches like that all too often and when you're one of the go-to guys on your team I know the hits coming but guess what it feels a lot better after you take that hit after a catch than it does after a drop a pistol set with Tongo Velo Third and six. Out of the gun, Tungo Bailoa. That's complete. And it is better. And he is out of bounds, but not until he's inside the 40 yard line. The task now, a really tough one. Third and very long. Tua gonna throw. And that is incomplete. When you get the ball in this situation, what you're looking to do is not only end the drive with a touchdown to put the game away, but you'd love to chew up some clock. So with that incomplete pass now likely putting an end to this series, that's a big opportunity for them to try to close this game out. And no return on this one. Fair catch, signal for, and take. They'll run into the secondary at the 45. And he's going to be taken down on the other side of the 50-yard line. Big hole up the middle. The interior of this offensive line did a great job clearing some space. The back saw it quick, and he hit it. Next thing you know, he was in the secondary for a big pick. He gets this one to Tucker. We'll get it up four here as he is taken down. They'll stick to the ground. Maybe a couple there. It's third down. Going to look to throw. He's got his man. Right side. It's complete. For his time, they've looked his way all game long. But he comes through with the grab and a first down. 
And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead. And the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with. So they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. Here's a second and nine. Minshew. He'll let this go. Who's the end zone? And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. I can tell you from firsthand experience, Mike, that is a lonely and long jog back to the huddle. I mean, you're an inch away from being the hero with the deep touchdown. Instead, you let it go through your fingertips, and you got to come back to the huddle and try again. And a good short tackle right there. It stops him a good distance short of the marker. It sets up fourth down. When you throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you're relying heavily on the yards after the catch. So give credit to the defense here. Once the ball carrier had the ball, multiple guys around him, corral them, take him down short of the sticks. Now or never, they'll throw on fourth down. Oh, he gets that one complete to his tight end, Bowers. Give him 19 yards as they get the fourth down conversion. That's a really important pickup there on that last completion. Not only does it set up first and goal, but allows everybody in the huddle to just take a deep breath. We're no longer in this frantic offensive possession. Let's get our best play. Let's make sure everyone understands what to do because we know we need to finish this off with six if we can. And now being first and goal is going to go a long way in allowing that to be possible. To the five-yard line. Second and goal. They'll run here. Ah, good blocking, and he's in. Alexander Madison. Touchdown, Las Vegas. What a game this has been. Back and forth we go, and that fourth quarter score changes the lead one more time. And we've seen the lead go back and forth, Mike, and now the question is, can they get a stop? Can they find a way defensively to hang on to this lead and get themselves this big win? Now this, an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it. And the Raiders go up by a field goal as they lead it by three. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. Here's Eskridge now to return it. Good job in coverage. They're going to get him down short of the 20-yard line. The Dolphins offense and running back Devon Achan set to go to work once more. And it's hard to believe you could run the ball a whole lot better than he has. The vision, the cutback ability, the acceleration, the stats. It has all been on display throughout. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. Fake the handoff. Now, two. And the bring down to until he gets to the 38-yard line. As this game continues to come down to the wire, Mike, it just reminds us, this is where quarterbacks earn their keep. You are judged by how you play in these critical moments. In fourth quarter, down a score, it doesn't get much bigger than this. 
In motion comes Beckham. And the defense snuffed that one out. It goes down as a completion, but no gain on the play. Well, you can tell that the defense had seen that play on game tape, and they were ready for it. They tried to do a little jet sweep, pop pass out of the gun. Defense was all over it. Nowhere to go, no game. They'll motion the tight end, Smith. They'll keep it on the ground. And a good tackle out wide will hold him to a gain of just three. play coming up this is third down in motion comes Beckham throwing on third down Tungo Valoa he got his man and he'll be out of bounds but not before he gets inside the 35 yard line they get the conversion on third down it was a game of 27 and how Boys of this quarterback. You find yourself down here late in the fourth quarter, Mike, facing a tough third down. You've got to have it. But you know what? He calls the play, he breaks the huddle. He's like, you know what, coach? I got it. That's a big time throw to now keep this drive alive as they go down looking for that go ahead touchdown. And he's shedding tackles left and right, winding his way for a gain of eight. Here's second and two. They'll motion the tight end, Smith. Contact up front. Did they get one of the defenders to jump? So, here's a first and ten now, down inside the 20. A shotgun snap for two. That's caught on the right side by Waddle. And the Dolphins are going to have first team goal as the tackle's made at about the five-yard line. I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive, Mike. I mean, it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance. And now, this defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. Hill brought in motion. Here's HN. He'll be wrapped up there down at the three-yard line. Ball a little closer now. It is second and goal. Motion man set right. A play fit now. Two of the throw. It is brought in in the end zone. Tyreek Hill touchdown Miami. And Greg, that is good play design there using the play fake to get the receiver time to get open and down here this close to the goal line mike it doesn't take much all you need is that linebacker or that defender to freeze for that split second that's all you need to create separation and that's an easy pitch and catch for a touchdown sanders here for the extra point The kick is good. And the Dolphins have taken a four-point advantage. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown, 
Trying to kick it back the other way. Abdullah now to return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Raiders offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And he has been masterful so far in leading this offense, keeping the mistakes to a minimum on point with his passes, generally one step ahead of the defense all game long. They'll come up here first and ten. From the gun, here's Minshew. That's to the right side. And caught by Bowers. 13 yards to start that drive. And a quick first down. And you see the rookie tight end, Brock Bowers, pick up the first down. Mike, of all the tight ends that I've watched in college over the last, call it, 10 years or so, I'm not sure if I've seen a more dynamic, ready-for-the-NFL tight end than Brock Bowers. I mean, two-time Mackey Award winner, 700-plus yards each of the last three seasons. He can get downfield. He can make tough catches. He can run with the ball after the catch. I mean, there's not a lot this guy can't do, and I think he's got a shot to be that next big-time young breakout rookie tight end. Take a look at his eyes. You can see the quarterback clearly going through all of his progressions, and he's quick to realize there's nowhere to go with this ball. He makes the right decision and gets out of there, picks up some good yardage, and gets down on the ground. And it doesn't appear that he got to that first down marker. He'll only give him a yard, so it'll set up for a gap. This is Madison. And he is going to have the Raiders first down. That'll be a pickup of about five as they convert on third and inches. So two minutes left to play in the second half. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. Plenty of time. All three timeouts left. It's first and ten. They'll drop to throw. This one complete to Bright. And they'll take this down inside the 35. All right, this is a good start. Plays like these are definitely going to help as you work your way into scoring range. While you have to be wary of the clock and keep an eye on it, they should have plenty of time here to finish this drive. Here's Minshew now on first and ten. That's a short one. Caught by Bowers. Now, second and four. The shotgun on throw for Minshew. There's that man again. Another catch. They get the big tackle out of UCLA. Colton Miller there. Throwing is Minshew. Short pass taken in by the tight end. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. out of the pistol here. Open man, left side. He's got it. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the 10. Here we go, first and goal. 
to the air once more is Minshew. That's holding at the two. And he's going to be down close to the goal line. Good job defensively to make sure he did not get to the end zone. These are the worst. I, I had a couple years, Mike, where I swear I got tackled inside the one-yard line ten times. And then you look back and you're like, man, how many touchdowns did I leave on the board? Because I couldn't get one more yard. Now, for... And this is a touchdown! They were not going to be denied. And they have taken the lead here in the final minute of play. Just an absolute clinic of putting together a drive, Mike, when you need it the most. And their ability to move the ball down the field, it worked the clock perfectly. They come away with that late touchdown and more than likely, barring something crazy, a victory as well. An important extra point up and good. So the lead is three here in the late stages of the game. This one will be taken in the end zone. No run back forthcoming. And the ball coming out to the 30-yard line. They'll come up for first and 10. From the gun, here's Tua. Sending it deep for Waddle. That is incomplete. So the task gets more difficult. Time for maybe two plays. That's it. Here's second down. It's Tua. That'll be incomplete. And now we are down to likely just one more play. A great pass rush is like a closer in baseball. When you bring them into the game, it's all but over. And it's exactly the case here. It doesn't result necessarily in a sack, but it was the hit that altered the throw just enough to end that play before it started. Gonna let it fly downfield for Beckham. And that's gonna be incomplete. The defense moves here in the final minute. And they're gonna get out of here with a victory. So this one, a win for the visiting Raiders. They were forced to travel cross country. They get the early start. 10 a.m. on their body clocks. They're happy now. They come away with the victory.